hey guys welcome back to my channel here at maji the priestess aka maji got the tea all right so y'all already know maji got the tea i'm coming over here with another powerful message um i woke up today very early in the morning grab my bible okay i was led to grab my bible i had just done a few uh prayers with my sister and as i was doing it i had this crazy epiphany right so god is definitely directing me to share this word with you guys because the message here today is god is going to rescue you okay god is going to rescue you from spiritual attacks that you guys just see that orb confirmation all right write that in the comments down below immediately god is about to rescue me from all spiritual attacks okay from all spiritual attacks from all enemies okay it's judgment judgment is coming upon your enemies you need to know this this is why this message is here this is why my spirit has been woken up today super early okay super super early and god told me to wear this hoodie this is my uniform all right god is reminding me that this hoodie is my uniform god hired me who gonna fire me see if god has given you a position if god has given you a life if god has given you blessings nobody can take this from you which is essentially what i'm saying in this quote if god has given you something who can take it away somebody comment that down below god hire me who gonna fire me all right if you would like to support my channel or if you would like to purchase this the link is down below guys so that you can buy your own hoodies if you would not like hoodies i have t-shirts i have pillows i have a whole bunch of different merch just go check it out okay they all say god hire me who gonna fire me period period so I'm going to be reading a couple of lines from different verses. I won't read the entire verse, but I will read certain lines that stood out to me that, you know, encouraged me to make this video because I believe that, you know, life is a spiritual war, as I always remind you guys on my channel. But most importantly, during this season, it's as if everyone that is chosen, everyone that is godly, everyone that is favored by God is being definitely manipulated is being targeted is being harmed and is being attacked and this is a reminder of a message that god has for every chosen one out there okay no weapon formed against you or your family shall prosper period okay so let's um let me go straight into it so i'm being guided to share with you okay if you are under spiritual attack you should open up your bible to um psalm 37 it's the one i'm gonna read from i have a couple different ones okay um you can read the whole verse yourself perhaps after this reading and more like when you need it but i'm going to be reading psalm 37 verse 7 okay so 7 7 you could be 37 years old you could be born on the 7th your past life number could be 7 i heard sagittarius you could be born in the third or that's your path life number okay but i see 37 and 7 that could be uh significant to somebody here this says be still in the presence of the lord and wait patiently for him to act do not worry about evil people who prosper or fret about the wicked schemes so be still in the presence of the lord okay meaning be chill have faith that even on the mist as you're going under this spiritual attack god is protecting you even when you don't see it when you don't feel it <clears throat> the next line is wait patiently for him to act so there's no need oh my god look at my voice leaving you see somebody doesn't want me to deliver this message right the enemy doesn't want me to deliver this powerful message <clears throat> but we still gonna go out here guys wait patiently for him to act right wait patiently for god to act because if you wait for god's justice 
that will be a bigger justice than you trying to take matters into your own hands. God doesn't want you to take matters into your own hands when you're being spiritually attacked. The only thing you need to do is protect your energy, cleanse your energy, and wait patiently on God to act on your behalf, okay? Do not worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Don't worry about them who think that they're winning. Don't worry about those enemies who think their spell work is working and they're going to beat you or they're going to harm you. Don't fret over those enemies who are laughing at you because currently you're under attack. Because currently you might be feeling fear. Because currently you might be dealing with some sickness or their spell work might actually be working. It's working for a reason. It's not because it's going to destroy you. It's because God is kind of letting them kind of think that they're winning. Okay, look at the next line. Psalm um, 37, line 12. Okay, everybody's Bible verse is going to say it a little different. Okay, but this says, The wicked plot against the godly. They snarl at them in defiance. But the Lord just laughs. For he sees their day of judgment coming. See, God is laughing. God sees things from a higher perspective, right? So God is just laughing, watching your haters, watching your enemies, watching these demons. Like, <laughs> they have no idea what's coming to them. Keep doing this spell work. Keep sending them that bad juju. Keep sending them spiritual attacks. Keep doing that voodoo. Go ahead, keep doing it. You think you're winning? I'm gonna let you think you're winning. God is letting your enemies think they're winning, but they're not. Write that on the comments down below. God is letting my enemies think that they're winning. But that's not true, is it? Because God is saying, God is laughing over here saying, oh my goodness, you have no idea that your judgment day is coming and you have no idea what I have planned for you. So I need you to feel safe. I need you to have faith in knowing that God sees the struggle that you're going through. God sees the spiritual attacks that you're going through as well. And I'm only laughing because God is laughing. So I'm channeling right now. And I feel this energy of laughing because God, you need to know God is laughing. Because their day of judgment is coming. Your enemy's day of judgment is coming. So God is saying, be still. Chill. Go ahead, relax. Put on, put on your Netflix and chill. And get ready for what's about to happen. Because you will witness what these wicked people did to you. You will witness it. You're going to hear about it. You're going to know how God is going to punish them. Trust me. It's go you going to know. Because if you don't know, now you know. You know what I mean? And wait patiently for him to act. So please, try not to be so, you know, so eager to want to harm your enemy back or anything like that even though i know my chosen ones we we too high vibrational we don't stoop low it's just here at a reminder to wait patiently god has a plan god has not forgotten about you god is actually in fact planning or has already planned the destruction coming for your enemy still gig giving them that idea of them to believe that they might still be winning or that they, they have beat you. Your enemies are laughing at you and God is laughing at your enemies. Isn't that funny? Because God is like, listen, you have no idea the karma that's freaking coming to you. You have no idea that I have watched you sin, that I have watched you done all these wrongs to these innocent people, to my chosen one, to my godly children. Okay? So those Bible verses are coming out of there. The last one is psalm uh let's see psalm 40 okay line 13 on psalm 40 so guys make sure that you you know i have like my bible here and i have these sticky notes you can add sticky notes to these you can read these bible verses when you need protection lighting a candle is wonderful setting your intentions for protection is wonderful taking spiritual baths is wonderful but there is nothing like prayer prayer okay rebukes the demons and the spells because air is a very powerful element right that's why you can speak words into existence that's why the word of god is powerful 
So yes, yeah, Psalm 40, line 13 says, please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame for they have, aha, we have got him now. So your enemies, this is what they're saying. Aha, we got her now. We got him now. And they're all laughing, thinking they won thinking that what they're doing is righteous right this is the enemy taking taking revenge in their into their own hands right they feel like you've wronged them or they feel jealous whatever this is but it's saying here god is going to rescue you god is going to help you god is going to help you destroy your enemies comment that down below god is going to help me destroy my enemies period for God is. God keeps his promises, okay? But it says here, may those who take the light in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. So some people take the light in your suffering. You need to know this, okay? Your enemies, they love it when you suffer. They love it when you're crying. They love it when you're in fear and you think that God has left you or forgotten about you or when they see you struggling. The enemy loves it when you believe that their spells are working or that their spells can possibly destroy you or take something from you so they're going to be humiliated and i love that this bible says let them be horrified by their shame because the the judgment that god has for them right now they're going to be left like this <gasps> horrified i wish i could put up an emoji here of the kind of face that they're going to be doing when they receive this karma and judgment from god okay so make sure you guys read those bible verses here god has an unfailing love towards us so he's always going to protect us you know what i mean all right it's getting a little hot in this room so i am gonna take my sweater off now real quick it's summertime over here and i'm still waiting for my shipment of my t-shirts that i ordered Okay. Ugh. All right. You guys could tell my cheeks are a little red because I'm definitely super duper hot right now, guys. So I'm going to do this message really, really quick. I have my, my fan on and everything, but oof, it's hot in New York City. Super duper hot. All right, so know that God is coming to your rescue while you're under this spiritual attack, okay? God has not forgotten about you, okay? Leadership, in fact, God is preparing you to lead the people, to give your testimony. You're somebody very unique, okay? You need to understand this. We have spot, excuse me, we have spotlight, celebrity, fame. Somebody here, God is going to rescue you from all this spell work. The judgment that's coming for these enemies is... If these enemies have been trying to stop your success, if they have been trying to block your blessings, it's hilarious right now. That's why God is laughing because you're about to step into the spotlight. Oh my God. It's like God is going to put you and anoint you in such a high level. He's going to level you up. He's going to put you in a, in a leadership position here, whether this is at your job or in your career in any way, shape or form. You're stepping into the spotlight. Somebody's getting ready for fame. Somebody's getting ready to be a celebrity. And this is literally the karma that these enemies are going to receive. Apart from their suffering, it's going to it's going to hurt them a lot because if their happiness is to see you destroyed. Right. If you being miserable makes your enemies happy. Well, what do you think they're going to feel when they see you celebrated by a lot of people, admired by a lot of people? If they see you everywhere they go, on the news, on the on the magazines, on the TV, because now you're going to become a leader. They were, they were trying to mess with a leader, a chosen one. Then we have, do not be afraid to be yourself. So God is saying, don't be afraid to step into the spotlight. You might be afraid to step into the spotlight because you're afraid that you might get spiritually attacked. But God has been protecting you and God is giving you this position. God hire me, who gonna fire me, right? God is getting ready to put you in position. So do not be afraid to be yourself. Do not be yourself. You have to be yourself. Do not be afraid. 
Never be afraid because fear doesn't come from God. Fear comes from the devil and the enemy. Ashe. Blocked, okay? Blocked. These people who have tried to block your destiny, who have tried to block this this light from you you were you have you are somebody that's unique you have something that is meant to that is okay first of all you have something unique that stands out about you no matter what this is we're all unique but what you have and what you carry is meant to be seen in a global perspective okay you're meant to lead the way for people like i said every chosen one every light worker is a leader right so these people have blocked or tried to block you and your blessings, but now they're being blocked, okay? They're the ones that are being blocked from accessing your energy, from accessing you in any way, shape, or form because you are an empath. You are a healer. You feel things deeper than regular human beings as an empath, okay? Your heart is is pure it's it's of gold an empath is always somebody who literally wants the world to be a better place so that's why god is giving you this leadership position because god knows that if he hires you okay if he hires you you will prosper so much and you will help so much people because of the heart that you carry this is beautiful we have jealousy okay their jealousy has tried to block you to bring fear and insecurity into your life so that you do not step into the spotlight so that you are afraid to shine okay to expose your vulnerability they're just jealous bro you're a light worker like i said when you're a light worker god will always elevate you no matter what in fact god will put you in a position where your enemies will have to watch you be blessed publicly. I keep saying this on my channel and it's happening. Somebody's going to jail. So like I said, it's judgment. It's coming. Their judgment is coming. Somebody could literally be going to literal jail. For somebody here, it's spiritual jail. Okay? They're not going to be able to manifest shit. We have enemies, guys. Maji got the T. I never make it up. Y'all already know Maji got the T. Hashtag Maji got the T. All right? Put that on the comments down below. Enemies. I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Got a lot of people trying to drain me of this energy. They know that you're a light worker, that you carry the light of God. They know that you carry the torch. So they're trying to drain you, block you. They're just enemies. And it's saying, do not be afraid of these enemies. God is about to rescue you from your enemies, okay? Yes, you have a spiritual gift that God is saying, I need you. I need you in this world. I'm going to hire you to use your spiritual gifts to help my people. This is what God is saying to you. God has, get, God has made you an empath and this is your gift, okay? Empathy is a wonderful gift. Do not take it for granted. The fact that you don't envy anybody, the fact that you just love everybody, including your enemies. That's what an empath is. No matter how many times people hurt you, you can't find it in your heart to have hate. You're a light worker, okay? You were born with many spiritual gifts. And God wants you to use this, okay? And even become a celebrity for this. Yes, <laughs> I can't make it up. You are destined for greatness. Comment that in the comments down below. I am a light worker who is meant for greatness. Ashe, okay? We have, you hurt me when you cheated, okay? So some of these people could have been a lover here who cheated or, or, or feels that you've wronged them. And that's why they've done this spell work, whatever it is. They're going to get their karma. If somebody cheated on you, they're going to get their karma too. Major contract of success. Somebody really here, okay. You got fake friends in your circle too, okay. God is trying to block some fake friends from you. Trying to give you the tea. Trying to let you know, you know, what's going on around you. There's a lot of evil eye and jealousy. We have narcissists, okay. God is trying to expose the narcissist in your life. The enemies, the narcissist. That you might be dating that might be in your family that might be in your workplace so pay attention with a major contract and success somebody really here it's a specific message you're really going to get a contract here you're going to sign a deal and you're going to become a celebrity for sure mm -hmm. 
It's big. It's happening. This is your blessing. I feel like I can't breathe in this relationship. See, there's relationships in your life. No matter what kind of relationship this is, there's people that are trying to block you. They're trying to suffocate you. That's what a narcissist does. So it's time to walk out from these people and these relationships. We have maybe. Your, your name could be May or your birthday could be in May. We got STD. Okay? So that's, that's going to be their karma. For some of you, some of these people's karma is they're going to jail. They're going to have to see you on the TV. They're going to see you succeed. They're going to see you get fame, spotlight, okay? And for others of you, they're going to get an STD. They're going to get an STD. They should not have messed with you. Decisions, 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 okay? You're going to need, yeah, with decisions, it could have been you feeling undecisive so much due to stress. You kept being indecisive about things. Spirit is saying there's nothing to the side. There's nothing to the side. You're already going to be successful. You're already going to gonna shine your light and share your gifts with the world. And you're already going to be rescued from evil. Mixed emotions. See, these people, they have mixed emotions here. They love you and hate you at the same time. It's like they look up to you, but they hate you. Secrets, okay? I heard somebody secretly here has an STD. So beware. Don't worry. You are, you are clean. You are safe. Married with children, okay? This is somebody here. Somebody secretly married with children trying to transfer an STD to you. All right? That's a specific message for somebody. I'm also getting anyone here who is married with children and has been trying to harm their children. Their, those, their secrets are going to be exposed. Those enemy secrets are going to be exposed. Stressed. There's nothing to stress. You are stressed right now. God is saying there is nothing to stress. You're about to be rescued from any spiritual attack. And judgment is coming. And plus, there's a lot to celebrate. There's a lot of excitement to, and celebration. There's no need to stress. Comment down in the comments down below. All right? Just make sure that you continue to cleanse your space and your energy, okay? It's time to shine, guys. Maji got the tea. It's time to shine. So you're going from stressed to blessed, okay? Comment that in the comments down below. I'm going from stressed to blessed. This is really happening for you. You're getting ready to shine your light, your authenticity, your gifts, okay? This may be in the form of communication. You could be an artist, a beat maker, a singer, an actress, okay, an actor. But you're getting justice. The scales, Libra here, okay? You're getting justice here. God has been watching and it's like no more, all right? I'm going to be using my Chosen Ones Oracle deck to finish it up, all right? This Oracle deck I have created for my Chosen Ones only, my light workers, healers, and star seeds. This, okay, this deck, the link is down below in my description box as well as the merch, okay? And this deck is going to activate any Chosen One, okay, who needs to, to be activated, um, who needs to be healed, who needs to know who they are. See, Jesus is coming through saying you are a descendant of Jesus. You're somebody very special, very strong. You have Lemurian blood, okay? So, wow, I split the deck on judgment for your enemies, guys. Somebody here really needs to buy this deck, okay? You need to buy this Oracle deck here. You're being guided to do it. That's, that's, yeah. Some, I heard, I heard somebody say like, I don't read tarot. That's why I was led to create it in words. Okay. Because I know a lot of people don't know how to read tarot, but these could be your affirmations and your messages. It's like, once you read it, you tap in, it will, it will just activate you and awaken you. You need to know this. Okay. I've already had enough testimonies from everyone that has bought it. Look, it's judgment day for your enemies. It's right here. Okay, I heard bad blood. 
your dreams are coming true wow and your dna is upgrading what did i say about your dreams coming true it's time to shine you're really about to be in the spotlight you're getting a major contract here somebody here is about to become a celebrity i can't make this shit up and that's literally part of your enemy's judgment is to see you everywhere now generational curse breaker when you do this this is going to break a generational curse that has been placed in your family in your bloodline you're about to even break the generational curse that when you have your kids if you haven't already their kids and their kids they're clean they're good they're they're curse free coming out down below i am curse free period your dreams are really coming true. And God, the universe, your ancestors, your spirit guides really want you to know that. Okay? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope this message brought you love, brought you light, brought you prosperity, brought you clarity, and des definitely brought you confirmation. Okay? Thank you so much for liking this video, sharing this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right? Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I'm coming live when i'm uploading you can get all the uploads don't forget to check the community post where i always leave a good message there any synchronicity that i may receive from the universe that may be helpful to you okay and whoever you are congratulations okay do not be afraid to be yourself it's scary because you're powerful but stand in your power i love you and god loves you too peace out